You ready? I was born ready, Mr. Shelby. Hit it. Okay, guys, this one is super special. This is a 1967 Ford GT40 replica car that was used in the 2019 movie Ford vs. Ferrari. It's a fully documented car with the certificate of authenticity, and it's going to come with signed memorabilia, a massive binder that documents the entire build, and some really cool behind-the-scenes photos. So the car was specifically used as a static display car, meaning it was never abused in any type of racing or driving scenes. So an iconic scene, though, that you will see the car being shown is when Christian Bale's character, Ken Miles, was working in the airplane hangar on the car, listening to the radio. So in just a moment, I will show you all those scenes where the car made an appearance, as well as footage of the memorabilia, and shortly after, a full walk around, both inside and out on this car. All right, guys, crank up the volume and enjoy this one. Here's a point, 7,000 RPM, where everything fades. The machine becomes weightless. And all that's left is a body moving through space and time. 7,000 RPM. That's where you meet it. Ask you a question. It's the only question that matters. Who are you? I was 10 years old. Pop said to me, son, it's a truly lucky man who knows what he wants to do in this world. Because that man will never work a day in his life. I'm that guy. And I know one other man feels exactly the same. Shelby. Maybe. The I Coke, Ford Motor. Suppose Henry Ford II wanted to build the greatest race car the world's ever seen to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. What's it take? Well, it takes something money can't buy. Money can buy speed. What well, in about speed? We need a pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. I don't trust him an inch. We heard he's difficult. No, no, Ken's a puppy dog. You're gonna build a car to beat Ferrari with 
a forward. Correct. And how long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred years? Ninety days. <laughs> This isn't the first time Ford Motors has gone to war. We know how to do more than push paper. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. All right, guys, here's a fun fact. This was the only Ford-powered GT40 in the entire movie. And so it was purchased for the movie to be in a few specific static scenes. And so the original color is gulf blue with an orange stripe and some really cool graphics. So the plan when it arrived was to repaint it a version of Indiglo Blue to replicate the original car. But when it arrived on set, they realized that this paint was so beautiful and it was in such amazing condition, they could not paint over it. So instead, they vinyl wrapped it to replicate that original Indiglo Blue color to preserve that beautiful paint and still achieve the look that they needed. So the cool thing was, the wrap was done in a way where you can remove just the centerpiece to expose that orange stripe. So you can make it indiglo blue with the really cool orange stripe, or you can remove all of it to show off the amazing gulf blue paint with the orange stripe. So all of the graphics on this car have been cleared over. So they're not just stickers that you can peel off. They are part of the car, fully preserved with clear coat. So if you decide to remove this wrap, what you see underneath is a gorgeous, gorgeous paint job. So this car was meticulously built to tribute the infamous 1968 Ford GT40 chassis number 1076. That was a car that placed second in the 1969 Le Mans. This particular car was built using the CAV GT40 platform and it has a built 427 stroker Ford small block with fuel injection and aluminum racing heads making around 436 rear wheel horsepower. It also has a four-speed manual Kaladi gearbox, which was the proper gearbox for the GT40 at the time. And once the build was complete, it was then titled in 2004. If you have any other questions about this car, give us a shout at Exotic Motorsports of Oklahoma, and I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks, guys, and have a good one.